Hey everyone, just wanted to give you an update on my kitchen remodel. Uh, I've been working on the upper cabinets um, the last couple weeks. Um, we needed to make some adjustments to uh, where our exhaust fan was for the range and so we were doing away with with that uh, under cabinet exhaust fan and needed to have something in place. Um, so that's what I've been working on and uh, so let me show you what what I've been doing so you can see here this is where um, the undermount exhaust fan for the range which is below was and I um, basically took that and deconstructed it and then I had to take the shelf that was that was installed here inside the cabinet so there's actually a dado cut right in here um, so I had to create a piece of cut a piece of plywood and uh, fit it um, in there and then uh, filled it with some some putty and sanded everything down um, so that uh, it would be nice and smooth and you wouldn't even see it um, and then I had to construct a shelf here you can see that I constructed that and then the face frame and then also um, my wine rack which I did it in an X pattern um, you know, we had thought about maybe doing some uh, a shelf, some shelves across with some half circles, so that the the wine rack, the wine could um, sit in those spots. But um, uh, initially, this was what my wife was um, leaning towards was having an X. Um, so, uh, so I started working on that, and I, I kind of like the way it turned out. So I think we're going to stick with with this uh, this layout um, rather than doing the other. Um, it was quite a bit of work and I did get a little bit of a gap right here um, that I'm not real happy with but I think once I, I when I adjust it to actually screw it down I haven't I haven't tacked it in place it's just kind of sitting in place right now um, but I think what I'll have what I'll do is I'm gonna when I paint it I'll have this out so it'll be a lot easier to paint this inside this area uh, without the rack in there and I'll paint the rack by itself and then slide the rack in and tack it in place once it's done but uh, right now it's just sitting in place um, but uh, what I had to do was actually uh, I used um, pocket holes to do the face frame into the existing cabinets and then I put that face frame on first this little piece and then I slid the shelf up into place and got it level um, and then screwed it to the existing cabinet and then to the studs on each side here and then onto the other cabinet and then I also put some screws in the back um, on both sides there to tie into the cabinetry so that um, it's pretty sturdy <clears throat> um, because once you get a bunch of wine up here it's going to be pretty heavy so I wanted to make sure that it was fairly sturdy and I think it is and it, it's tying these two cabinets together uh, now um, since there wasn't anything before um, so that's um, what we have and then I also have a shelf here that this is just kind of sitting in place so you can kind of see what uh, what it'll look like um, I have a shelf for that area which I need to tie in uh, the screws right there you'll be able to uh, see the, the screw so that I'll be able to put in there and then I'll slide the shelf in but I didn't do that yet because uh, I've been still cooking here so we didn't really I didn't really want that shelf there so this is just kind of sitting there for right now um, my next step is to actually take the 220 power <clears throat> that's underneath here there's a plug under there um, and it runs it runs the length uh, of the house going back to the panel which is outside in the garage over there so I'm just gonna take that uh, that wire and actually um, just pull it over here and, and uh, bring it up um, somewhere in the middle in this area I'm going to drill a hole but from underneath and then uh, feed that wire back up in the plug so that I can have the uh, the range on this side of the the kitchen um, I'm going to pull this this piece out and we're not going to reuse this one I'm going to probably still use it in the garage I think I'm just going to paint it and um, and reuse it as a as a um, 
kind of a workbench in the garage. Um, so what I'm going to do is bring this over, probably put it right here, and then I'm going to take this, this cabinet that I sanded and bring it over and put it over in this area so that she has a workspace to, um, you know, chop things and, and do some work um, as she's uh, working, just for the time being, because this is just kind of, this is just kind of sitting here right now. It's not tied into anything. Um, but this is the final layout uh, for this side of the, the kitchen. I was able to uh, get that all sanded and prepped and ready to go. Um, and then I brought the oven cabinet inside with the help of a neighbor because this thing was pretty pretty heavy. Um, and, and also the uh, pantry. Um, so it's, it's set up right now the way it is going to be. Um, the only other piece that I need to add is the, uh, the cabinet that goes over top of here, but I didn't want to install that just because it's, um, I'm not ready to uh, actually, um, have it fixed, um, right now. Um, so that's, that's the update. So for right now, um, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. Thanks.